What's up guys? It's your boy, Betel OG, back again for another video. And as you can see, we are back in Central Park at Morgue City. Now, I haven't been in here. Well, I haven't really, I've been here a lot actually, but I haven't done any progress on this place in a very, very long time. And in this video, we're finishing it completely. So that's from these little empty spots all the way to down there. And we're just gonna be adding a lot of sidewalks, a little few recreational facilities like tennis courts and such. And of course, my lovely, lovely custom trees. And maybe a pond or two, or if no fountains. And uh, as well as armor stands, because you know, I love my armor stands. And David loves watching me build my armor stands as well. But this should be fun. And uh, hopefully you guys learned something. Hopefully you learn, guys learn a thing or two. I will do make this like a bit of a tutorial-esque thing where I like explain how I'm adding bushes and such. So if you want to learn some, uh, I wouldn't say pro gardening advice just yet, but if you want to learn some gardening advice, stay tuned because you're to get some. Okay, now I know what some of you are probably thinking, Beetle. What are you doing? This is not gardening. This is fence building, it looks like. Well, uh, this is probably the first thing I need to start with, I feel like. Building a big old fence all the way around David. Because, I don't know about you guys, but if your city or metropolitan area, whatever you want to call it, had a massive statue that goes to, like, that towers above the skyscrapers, I feel like you wouldn't want people to, like, um you know, getting, touching on it, graffitiing, other stuff. Speaking of which, I might actually gra add graffiti to David, now that I say that, on like the little pedestal, a little crime scene, you know, because there are some rapscallions on the server. But this is a very good little focal point to really get started on the park, so I know, like, okay, the boundaries of what I can do in this green area right here, and, you know, I can add bushes and leaves and stuff, maybe some spectators, uh, taking a photo in front of David, you know, or the, there's those people who like, I don't really know how to put it, where they like stand next to the, the Eiffel Tower or something, but they stand real close to the camera and put their hands forward to make it look like they're holding it. Uh, man, I hate those people. But yeah, this is just easy little fence building. It's not meant to look amazing, but it's meant to look passable, which sometimes is all you really need, I've come to find. So that's what I'm going to be doing with this. So I'll cut back to it when it's done, and when I have a few bushes and such added. Okay, fence successfully put up. My little decorations on top of this thing though, eventually. But first, I um, just wanted to do some small trees. These are just to like fill out space, make the park look a little more fuller than it really is. You know, not every tree can be these big, these big honkers right here. So, um, what I want to show off here is the use of bone meal. Now, I know a lot of people like, like are scared of the thought process of using bone meal, but it's not really that bad. Like, uh, other, you might notice that you don't see any of the too tall grass here. That's a personal thing. I don't like it that much. However, got all this nice, lovely little gardening type thing. We're in like a hedge wall, kind of. I think I like it. I like how it looks because once again, it also keeps people away from the fence and on the sidewalk which is what we want. And also, you know, it's not meant to like look absolutely amazing, but it's supposed to look good at least. That's what the rest of this stuff's gonna be for though. Like the main walking paths like here, this is the stuff that you want to look really good to keep the, to keep the public it over here in this area, not, not climbing on the fence and such, if you know what I mean. Okay, big, bit of progress as you can see I'll show that off in a second though because first off did a little bit more gardening right here in this little area added a few trees and such and uh, one thing I'm learning uh, thank you b-dubs for this is I'm trying to combine like these I'm starting to do it on these ones specifically but it's combining leaves like of different types like these are birch leaves these are oak and I used the um, uh, what are they called the moss tree blocks uh, I forgot what they're called zalea leaves there we are and uh, basically it makes like a nice little shade, like shadowy thing, where it's like, these are the leaves directly hitting the sun. These ones are getting a little more. These ones are like the ones at the bottom where obviously they get the least amount of sunlight directly at them. Directly hit at them, that's what I meant to say. Still gotta do over there on that little one. 
around this big tree right here and added a few benches and such, but that's not the point. Uh, the big thing I've added though is, <clears throat> gonna go free cam for this, I've added, I'm starting to add tennis courts, and it's a basketball court over there, but basically recreational things. I'm gonna add at least one more thing over there, maybe, I don't know just yet. Maybe like a little playground probably for the little kiddos. But anyways, first off, um, expanded the sidewalk all the way to the other end over here. Um, ignore this ugly thing, this is gonna be the start of a street that uh, someone I commissioned to uh, help with. Only got half finished with, but that's not a problem because it saves me the time of doing it. Um, edited the paths a little bit to make this nice little big long diamond type shape, emerald shape, I don't really know what shape this is. Um, this I'm gonna be like shaving down a little bit more and putting a, a nice little fence around because I want this to just be a big flower patch, I think. I think that would look good. Also, I hate how the grass just changes randomly right here. I think it's because this is like a river biome, so they have that specific gla grass, not glass. Um, but anyways, um, real fast, I'm just gonna shoot this out there. Feel free to follow me and turn those notifications. I don't say that often, but if you want to see me build the buildings right behind me that you see there, I only do those on stream usually at this point. Maybe I'll do some not on stream eventually though. Who knows? I usually even save the not stream ones for like these giant ones behind me. Because these are more boring. It's just repetitive. So I don't like doing it. Those, however, those you can drop me the <clears throat> you can drop me the fun palettes and such. But anyways, um, let's get a move on with this, shall we? So we got lots of progress done on this next clip. Uh, as you can see, we got this little center area all gardened up. What a really big flowery patch, basically, with this one. You can see what else we did over there in just a second. But first, I just want to show this off. This was real fun to make. Um, now then, I did use bone meal in some areas, as you can see. And a lot of people are actually afraid to use bone meal for some reason. I think it's something to be used. It's another tool in the gardening arsenal. Now, I'm going to hop over here and... Uh, I'll show off the pink tree first, because that's obviously the thing you can see the most. I wanted something that would like catch your eye as you're walking down the streets, on this side particularly, uh, where my crosshair is on this length. So I think this does the job. I went for a weeping cherry blossom tree type. It's not my best work, I feel like I can make it better in some spots, like here and there, but uh, I think it came out pretty decent at least. Um, if you want tutorials on how to make these trees, let me know in the comments below, by the way. And, um, well, the ground leaves a little bit desired, but maybe I'll have some picnic blankets. Once I add the armor stands in, it'll be a little more alive, so that'll help. But, once again, it's more for like a real flowery vibe. I don't really know what I'm going to do here just yet. Probably just more bushes and little nature ways, nature pathways. Um, now then, um, we got... Uh, I'll, I'll explain this first, because this explains this ex this is existence. That's a word. Uh, so then, this look this looks like um, wood chips or mulch, right? It's so obviously children's playground. Looks a little scary right now though, because you know not many kids here just yet. I mean, I want one of my kids around a guy who looks like this anyway. Ignore that skin. That was from last episode. Feel free to check that out. But um. Here we got also a volleyball court. Um, once again, once I add armor stands to like all this, it'll look way better, trust me. Which I'm probably gonna be streaming and doing that tomorrow, so past Betel stream inbound. Um, but uh, to explain this fountain, I had, that's that's rooted dirt by the way, that's what that block is back there for the mulch slush wood chips. But this lovely lady, Electra, um, she gifted me all this, wait a minute, no, she gifted me Podzol, actually, which was going to be the second choice. The lovely lady who turned to be this was Thwait, who, um, honestly deserves a fountain of her own for this good job. But, um, uh, Electra gave me a whole shulker box of Podzol for free, which I will be using anyway. So, I wrote her a little hero story, and explained why you know, she would have this fountain. I do need to turn that armor stand now, though, facing this way, since the book's right here. So, wrote her a little chronicle. You guys can pause and read that if you feel like it. Um, I won't be doing that, though, because um, I don't have my literature voice on right now, you can say. Now then, next area I plan on doing, 
is I want to add a little, like, welcome guest station type thing over here. Maybe some public bathrooms, too, would help. Probably that, to be honest. What am I thinking? Public restrooms would be easier. Anyway, right here, I'm thinking I want a nice, like, long, bushy way with, like, a lot of flowers back here. I want lots of flowers. That's the main thing. Because flowers are beautiful. This area, once again, I have no idea what I'm going to do with. And then we're basically pretty much done with this place. I'm going to miss building it. Trust me. That's a lie. I will not miss building this place. Because, you know, I like doing parks. It's, it's been fun doing this park. I've been learning a lot of unique tips. Especially making these big trees. I like these trees. But I do get sick of build. I want to build, like, non-organics. That's more my style. As you can see. That's a terrible shot right there to say that for. Anyways, on to the next. Okay, guys. A um, little out of the base type thing now. But uh, at my shop, as you can see, collecting diamonds because I'm, uh, I'm dirt poor. Don't tell anyone, though. But anyways, I was scrolling through the inventory. And I got to this one. The new mushroom stem blocks that I've added. They're a hot seller. But these are very... I almost said special diamonds, but that would imply that they're good to me, but... I don't know, these look like insults to me. And... Well, they're just laughing at me, calling me broke and such. I don't even have 29 diamond blocks anymore, I literally have like... I have 7 diamonds, including these 4 right here, and I guess these ones. I'm so broke, a crow has more pennies than me. I mean, that might be true at this point. I do need to go mining badly. But, this isn't even the worst part. Because... I logged off just for just for about four hours. We got outside. I know Beto goes outside, guys. Believe it or not, but um, I got pranked very badly because on stream I made the mistake of telling people what I hate, which, given I'm on a server with a bunch of people, is a very bad idea. And you guys are about to see why. Okay, and behold, the very terrible prank I was speaking of. Now, um. Some people, it's like, okay, so uh, it's just a giant can of sparkling water. To me, though, sparkling water is the most vile creation ever devised by man. And um, people who enjoy it willingly. I was about to say some very terrible things, but I'll refrain from that. Anyways, um, while I'm on this note, uh, on this little film, that is, I am done with the park, basically. Well, minus this little batch here, but that's besides the point. And it has a fence back there. But anyways, going to start over here now. Um, oops, wrong mode. These are going to be bathrooms. I'm going to put these signs here just in a minute uh, around here. So, you know, it's unisex bathrooms, I guess. Even though I'm going to have urinals on this wall. Not the point, though. And uh, also, uh, add some more flower bushes. As well as a big, nice cherry blossom tree. Which I think is very lovely. I very much love this part. I already mentioned it, though, I think. Also, we got... All these lovely flower patches. I didn't really know what to do with this area, so I just made like a little walking path. Also, I think I do know who built that can, because you might have heard the DM in the background just now. <laughs> so, we'll get to that though in a minute, maybe. Or maybe next episode, who knows. Uh, anyways, I think the highlight of, I might add armor stands and a bunch of um, light, lamp posts and such tonight in my live stream that um, will already have passed by the time you're watching this. I think my favorite part about this entire area, though, is... You might think it's the pink tree. So I know, from above, it looks a little strange, but... I just don't look at it from up here. I need to flatten it out a little more. Not the point, though. My favorite thing is probably this one right here. I like this tree the best. Might just be me, though. I don't know. I just like the way it looks. Even though it's a little funky right here, but not the point. Anyways. Um, in the flower patch. Don't want to be in there. Let's just see how this stream goes. And I'll cut to uh, the progress I have next. Uh, including tearing down that sparkling water can. Because if you drink sparkling water, unsub right now, please. I do not want you here. That's a joke. <laughs> or is it? I don't know. Now, finally, after six or five months at this point, actually, Morg City is not Morg City. I wish Morg City was done. Not really, because you don't really get much of a benefit from your base once it's actually done. Anyways. All the armor stands are done, all the lamp posts, all the little decorations, all them finished. So Central Park as a whole is finally done. And now cue the music, because we're going to do a little time lapse of this, and I'm just going to show off what I managed to create. Hope you enjoy it.
And with that time lapse out of the way, I'm pleased to say thank you for watching this episode. It was very fun to make. And, um, oops, it took like a week to make this park fully. Uh, it basically started from like this lake, so I had to do this entire long strip. It was a very, very exhausting process, but it was all worth it in my opinion. Um, this should be coming out Friday night, hopefully, this video. And Saturday afternoon, I'm probably gonna be streaming on a new server, by the way. So, that should be exciting. It's gonna be something new, it's gonna be a modded server. So, if I do stream it, then I'll be happy to see you there. But if not, I'll see you guys in the next video, which uh, will probably just be a basic building video, back to basics. Not this organic stuff that I'm not too good at. Or, let me phrase that. By now, I'm a freaking professional, I think. <laughs> but I'll let you guys be the deciders of that in the comment section below. Feel free to uh, type a comment, leave a like, subscribe. Man, I'm really going all out saying that. You know, YouTube stuff. Anyways, though, thank you so much for watching. Much love from Betalogy. Signing out. Thank you.